In today's video, I'm unboxing the new pod collection that showed up very late. We're interrupting your 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! programming for the new pod collection. What's up guys, we are back with another unboxing video where I bought the pod collection. Let's just check this thing out. This is an item that Konami sold back in February. By the way, it's December, keep that in mind. And I purchased it super early, you know? I was expecting, yeah, I'll buy it now and I'll get it, you know, on time. I was just is an expectation that you have when you buy something. I actually even spent 100 extra dollars on shipping. Because it was bought directly from Konami, I figured if I buy the $100 extra shipping, it'll get here extra fast, I can make an early video. Well, I'm sure you've already seen videos about this because it came out like last week, everyone was getting theirs. Technically, it came out, I don't know when it came out because we bought it in February. Eventually, they finally started shipping them out in November, but everyone else was getting them and I wasn't. So I reached out to some people and they're like, yeah, I had to email Konami support and ask them for my tracking number because otherwise I couldn't find it. So I emailed them and then I had to find where I ordered it from because I couldn't find the email confirmation. I found when I ordered it back in February, like 27th or something. And then I told them my address and they gave me my tracking number. And guess what? My tracking number said it was being delivered that day. Weird coincidence that when I finally reach out a week and a half later after everybody else is getting it, it's going to arrive on the same day I'm looking. And it's also late. I paid a hundred extra dollars. Very frustrating, very annoying, but what can you do? At least we finally got them. That's nice. For a second, I was actually considering, did I actually buy them? Like, did I accidentally like not press buy or something like that? But then when I found the transaction for $600 or whatever it was, I was like, yep, I definitely bought them. But that's okay. We're going to have fun opening them right now. So before we get more into that, I do have a giveaway. In this video, we're not just going to be unboxing the pod collection because guess what? You've probably already seen that before. But if you haven't, it's going to be cool anyway and I wanted to add a little twist and something extra fun. We're also gonna be opening some packs that have potential at pot cards, and every time we pull one, I'm gonna be giving that away to you guys, as well as all the pots in the pot collection. So if you guys wanna enter that giveaway, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below, which is your favorite pot card in Yu-Gi-Oh! And also, uh, I actually bought three of these. I was thinking, I don't know why I bought three of them. I was thinking maybe I'd have a playset of everything, but then they reprinted a bunch of them in Rarity Collection, so I already have a bunch of them anyway. So I'm gonna have my other two available on ruxon34.com if you want to pick those up you won't have to wait nine months like i did to actually get them i'll ship those things out right away and you can have yours two available two extras because the rest of these are probably you know we're giving away all the cards i'm keeping the pot little statues though because they're pretty cool all right so before we actually get into the pot collection we're going to do a little fun opening trying to pull some pots so we're going to start with invasion vengeance inside of invasion vengeance there is access to the pot of acquisitiveness acquisitiveness is that how you say that acquisitiveness i don't know it is a super rare in the set guaranteed supers in the set though so you could potentially pull it fairly easily. Let's see if we can do it right here. I randomly had this pack laying around. It's been in like my, one of my stacks of packs that are kind of, you know, not that good. So I've never opened them before. And I was like, hey, look, Invasion Vengeance. We actually need you for once. Let's see what we can do. We want to pull pod cards. All will be given away. I actually realized in the pot collection, there's a lot of pots that are actually kind of in weird sets. So like commons in like a 5D set or something. It's their only printing. So it's actually pretty tough. I did. I wanted to do a pack for every, every pot, but I don't think I have one. Uh, so we have a few that we can grab. We have Raptor, Pendulum. Let's see what we can get. We have Flower Cardian, Burnout. Wait, whoa. How many cards are left? Okay, I don't know if it's going to be. I guess it'll be after this. So it should have been four from the back. That one is a Crystron Entry. And come on, give us the pot. Oh, it was a spell. I was like, maybe? Spiral Resort. Okay, starting it off with a super rare. Not a great start, but we're going to get a pot eventually. Our next is Secrets of Eternity. This one's going to be tough because it's a pot of riches at secret rare. So that's not a guarantee. You don't get a secret every pack in Secrets of Eternity. First edition. Let's see if we can pull one. That'd be pretty amazing. Pot of riches, secret rare. A lot of these do not have a lot of prints, actually. Probably because most of them aren't that good. I'm going to do three from the back to be safe anyway. We have Goo Goo Golem, Golden Form. A Blaze Accelerator Reload. We can also compare if we do pull any compared to some of like the newer rarity because Pot Collection has a new rarity. Uh, we have Despot 003, Raid Raptor. Super Every Samurai Soul Beads. Raid Raptor Readiness. Perform My Pal Spike Eagle. Raid Raptor Nest. And... Oh, else it all. Windigo. We got another super. So we are 0 for 2 on pot searching. All right, another tough one. The Dark Illusion First Edition, actually. This is a 2016 set. Guaranteed supers, but we're looking for that Pot of Desire's original print secret rare. This is when it first came out. So 
If we get this one, it's actually a huge pull. I think I've pulled this one time. Uh, it's one of the best cards in the set. I think it's worth about, it says $5. Probably just got all the reprints. It used to be like 30, but you know, all the reprints from Rarity Collection. Okay, we have Red Mirror. Let's see what we can get. Red Wog. Before we're pal, Extra Slinger. Didi Savant Nicola. Nicola Jokic. We have King Scarlet. We have Fright for Sanctuary. Performer Pal, Inflator, Tapir, Spiral Gear, Big Red, and... Oh, a Block Dragon. That's not guaranteed. Is this the original print? Block Dragon. This is where it all started. This card is absolutely insane. All right, next up, we have three. King's Court. Inside here, we have potential Pot of Duality at Rare, which, as you guys know in this set, is basically a common. So, very good chance that we could pull it. Let's see if this can be our first Pot pull right here. So far, we have not had good luck. We have infinite cards. I mean, we could even pull, like, a God card here. We have uh, Leo Arms, Rivalry of Warlords, Pendulum Transfer, Tornado. Golden Eyes Idol, we're not getting anything there. And World Legacy Guard Dragon, okay. Continuing, not pulling what we're looking for. Fortunately for us, we have Pot Collection, which is guaranteed, so that's exciting. Next up, Stardust, Eagle Claw, Leo Arms, Gravekeeper Spy, Number C39, Ultimate Shield, and the Court of Cards. Wow, we are, uh, we had three chances. It's basically a common. Come on, King's Court. So we got like five packs left, or six, seven packs, actually. There's some good stuff coming up. But this is one of our best chances to get one, so come on. We need something in the rares. Told me. Wicked Dreadroot, please. Wicked Eraser. This is so wicked. We have the Golden Eyes Idol. Ah, oh, Utopic Future. And the D-Hole. just a... Rubbing it in our face. The D-holes have struck again. So far, pot pack is showing you it's not that easy to pull cards you actually want. So this pot collection is actually, I mean, if you want the pots, it's nice. Now, I just remembered something I really was excited about in pot collection, but now is a little bit annoying, is that I ordered in February. I'm sure a lot of you guys felt like this. And you're like, I'm going to have access to all the pots, like Pot of Prosperity, Pot of, uh, you know, Desires, all those good ones. But then they released Rarity Collection before the pot collection and all the pots were in there. So we spent like, we pre-ordered hundreds of dollars if you got multiple like I did. To get these pot cards, you get them nine months later and you already have access to them in Rarity Collection bulk. So that was pretty frustrating. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, wow. So I spent all that money. I could have just waited like I had to do anyway and gotten Rarity Collection. So unfortunate, I feel like that was a little bit messed up because like I know some like dealers and stuff they they bought a lot of them because like it's gonna be a great product then it still is a great product but it definitely got diminished by rarity collection if he had gotten those like maybe we got this like at, in June or something it still would have been awesome then they could have done the reprints later so I, I didn't really love how they did that but I just wanted to say that let's continue next up we have maximum gold Eldorado and speaking of good pots this has pot of extravagance potential as a premium gold rare we have three of these packs by the way Let's see if we can get one. We have not pulled a pot yet, so hasn't been a great start. Mystic Ma- oh, okay, yeah, starting off great. Uh, Altergeist, Invoked Megaba, and Summon Limit. Okay, good cards, but not what we're looking for. We have two more chances. Eldorado, crazy maximum gold. Isn't it 2021 at this point? It's been forever since this came out. A few years, we'll bring it back, I'm sure. Rainbow Neos, we got Fossil Dig, Elixir, Brand Kids Place, Soul Eating Over Raptor and Win the Wind Charmer Verdant and Sign at Mining. Okay, a lot of good cards in Eldorado though, for sure. One more pack, one more pack, and then we can uh, open a couple of big ones at the end. Gold Land, we have Predaplant, Verte, Anaconda, Cybers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Exodia, okay. Exodia the Forbidden One, that's not bad, but it is indeed not a pot. All right, we're bringing in the, the big guns. We have one rarity collection pack. I thought I had more loose packs than this rarity collection, but I could only find one, so I guess it'll have to do. There are three different pots in here. It's Pot of Prosperity, Pot of Desires, and Pot of the other one we were just looking for, Extravagance. So any of those we want. Lone Fire, Dimensional Barrier, Borlode Savage with a big ding at the top, Magician Salvation, Last Chance, not even the big guns can pull us anything right now. We got to go to the even bigger guns. Legend of Blue Eyes. You guys know what's in here. Pot of Greed. The original pot. It's a rare. Hopefully we can get something. Come on. Pot of Greed. One, two, three. It's just a 25th. So we go like this. Okay. Metabat. Book of Secret Arts. Come on, Pot of Greed. That's all we're looking for. We don't care about Blue Eyes. We don't care about Red Eyes. We don't care about Dark Magician. Pot of Greed. That's all we want. Skull Servant. Dark King of the Abyss. Hard Armor. Fissure. And 13th grave. Okay. Not a pot of green. We got a 25th. Then we got a 2017 pack as well. And then we have, of course, what you came here for. The full pot collection as well. Lesser Dragon. Violet Crystal. Ruxin Special. Karama. Red Medicine. Succubus Knight. Masaki. Array's Body Heat. 
Flame Ghost and 13th Grave again in the same spot. All right, this is a cool idea, but we have not pulled a single pot card, so it's a little disappointing how this is going. One more pack. I believe in you. 2017 Legend Blue Eyes pack. You can have a pot of greed inside. You can do this. That's all you need. You don't even have to have like a big pull. Just got to be pot of greed. That's all it's got to be. Oh, wait, the rare is at the end. We're going to keep the rare at the end because it's pot of greed. Potentially, we have Sandstone. Numerico, we have Tripwire Beast, Basic Insect, Skull Red Bird, Misaki, the Legendary Swordsman, Man Eater, Hinotama, and no pots, no pots. All right, what we've all been waiting for, this is guaranteed to have pots, right? Unless we got scammed by Konami, hopefully not. So uh, how do you open this thing? Let's open this up. Okay, it looks like I just have to cut that little thing, which I will do real quick. Uh, is there gonna be, is it just gonna show everything? Should I go one at a time, I guess? Actually, let me, let me just show you this. This presentation is pretty cool. So here's the pack with all the uh, pot cards and here are all the pots themselves, which this is the part I will be keeping. This is the part you guys can win in the giveaway. All right, let's go through these little statues for, this is, I mean, honestly, this is a really cool product. Oh, you have to put them together. Interesting. So we gotta do a little assembly here. So we have the four parts of the pot agreed. Interesting, gotta do a little, uh, little building. All right, going back to my Lego days right now. Let's see if we can figure this out. So this should go on. He looks a little skinny up there. Is it twist on or does it pop on? Looks like it just pops on like that. Okay, the arm should go like this. This is kind of fun. Wait, no, up here. Yeah, just push that in there. Wait, should I have done that first? Oh, maybe not. Okay, and then you set it on your little thing so it'll stand up. All right, there we go. So you can set up. Mr. Pot agreed. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Really cool, actually. I like that. Next, we have. I think there's only six of them in this part. Wait, never mind. There's more. It's under the under the rest. Okay. Ow, that hurt. I got a pot collection injury, everyone. Pot collection has attacked me. Okay. What is this one? All right. Here is the pot of riches. I believe is that which one? Pot of riches, maybe. I can't remember all of them because we didn't pull any of them. So it's hard. I will be able to tell compared with the cards. I don't remember this guy. Who is this one? I'm not sure who this is. We'll figure it out when we have the cards out. Okay. This one has this weird thing that has to go here, and the rest of it just goes around his face. This guy looks like a crazy Star Wars character or something. All right, I, I couldn't tell you which one this one. I, I, this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to guess later. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a guessing game, see if I can guess all of them. Okay, I've got the list. This is Pot Agreed. I'm gonna try to see how many I can guess before we actually check the answers. I'm not gonna peek at this yet. So Pot Agreed, I know we got that one right. I think this one's Pot of Riches. I'm gonna wait till we have them all out to pick the rest of these though. These two, I'm not totally sure yet. Okay, this guy has the same little fork and spoon as what I believe is the Riches. I could be wrong, but all right, let's... Oh, I think I might know this. This one okay yeah because it's combination of two different pots that's why okay this is one i feel like this was on the jeopardy episode where i had my epic performance and beat out sam i feel like they asked that question about that one all right i definitely know this one but there's a little piece of face right here what is this i don't see where this would go it's like it's it like broke off of another one that's super strange okay we have pot of i think this one's generosity but I, I'm, I'm gonna put my official guesses in later so pretty sure this is generosity so we're gonna put this one together that one's man these are sick i'm not gonna lie okay we got more purple guy which which we have seen a couple of times already. He looks like a Disney character. Okay, we have Disney villain complete. All right, I almost lost this guy's nose, so sorry, buddy. Uh, you look like you're from Aladdin. Look at that nose, holy. All right, that's that's a nose right there. All right, let's put this thing on. That might be the creepiest one yet. That With that blue tongue, that is pretty weird. Okay, second to last one. We have more forks and knives going on here. Okay, this might actually be the original pot of... This other one has pot of greed on it too so yeah now i'm confused this my guesses are going to be way off okay here's our last one i think and then there's one more little bonus thing that i don't think goes on one of these but is included in here actually there's two more first of all there's a pot of greed snake which is this a real thing also where's the where's where's the pot where these is like arms and legs and like ancient sanctuary wherever that whatever that thing's called the pot of what is that thing called? And then we got this creepy little dude, a little goblin. Okay, we got them all together. That took a little bit, actually. I didn't realize you had to do that. Now it's time to guess. So first of all, Pot of Greed. It's popping up on the screen. I'm one for one now. I'm 100%. The next is Pot of Generosity. I feel like it's this one. I think this is Pot of Generosity. Let me look at all of them. 
Pretty sure that's pot of generosity. Pretty sure. Might change my answer, but for now, that's what it is. Let's see. Pot of avarice is up next. Okay, this is pot of avarice. It looks like pot of greed, but he's got a tongue on the back. Pot of benevolence, I'm like 99% sure it's this one. Pot of Benny. Pot of riches, I thought I knew earlier, but now I'm a little confused. So there's multiple with the riches face. So I'm assuming riches is the basic one. And then this is, that one's mixed with the other one and so is that one but maybe that one is the one mixed with it i'm gonna go with this one for now i could be wrong okay pot of acquisitiveness i feel like i never see so maybe it's this guy maybe it's he's the acquisitiveness that's what i'm gonna lock in for now i might change that pot of awesome aka pot of duality for a second i got confused with what pot of duality was so many pots i'm getting confused this is definitely duality this is pot of awesome right here Got Pot of Greed on the back with his tongue sticking out. What's new? Pot of Dichotomy. Now that one I think is this one. I'm pretty sure this is Pot of Dichotomy. Yeah, this is it. Pot of Dichotomy for sure. Okay, Pot of Desires. Wait, this is Desires. Earlier I said this was Avarice. So which one's Avarice? This is Avarice. This one right here is Avarice. This one is Desires because it's a mix of Avarice and Pot of Greed. This is Pot of Avarice. This is the one that you take five from your graveyard, draw two. No, Desires came next, so it ha it can't be a mix of, it can't be a mix of two when this one didn't exist yet. This one had to come first, and this one did come first because this is like a 2016 card. So this is definitely Pot of Desires. I'm changing my answer. And that leaves us with Extrav and Prosperity. I feel like Prosperity doesn't look like this, but I think this is supposed to be Prosperity because it's like Pot of Awesome, but it's mixed with Riches, which I can't remember what Riches does. And But it's gotta be something to do with uh, the Extra Deck or something because these both have something to do with the Extra Deck, I think. So this one is Extravagance. And this one is prosperity. I think I got them all right. I think I, I think I finally figured it out. You guys already saw how well we did uh, this video. I really don't know how long it is because I've been building half the time and talking. So let's finally get to the cards. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I decided not to just do a regular unboxing, do a little opening as well. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and check out if you do want to buy one of these sealed. I have it completely sealed on two, two op or two copies of them. So I can't open this. Wow. OK, got it open. But yeah, if you guys want to grab some, I have two available. So go check it out. Let's see about the cards. Are they in good condition? New rarity box by the way, uh, or a little bit different, I think. So we have, it, maybe it's a 25th, it's just 25th. I thought it was supposed to be more like, wait, maybe they are, some of them are different. Pot of Greed, okay, that looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really good. We have, okay, there we go. So there's the different rarity. So the Pot Collection, this is more like the, uh, what are they called? This is more like the Hobby League, but apparently they are, they look a little bit, hopefully they're not as thick. Oh, they are pretty thick. They feel a little thick. I don't know if, well, not as thick. They might... The problem with uh, the Hobby League stuff is when you use it in a deck, it, sh it bends and then you can really like split to it every time. It's not really tournament legal unless you double sleeve it. So that's kind of annoying. Okay, Pawn of, Pawn of Generosity. I got that one right. Okay, we're two for two so far. Avarice, there we go. Avarice, big long tongue. Yeah, I was right to change that one. We have Pot of Benevolence. Okay, looks like I got that right. Pot of Riches, big scary guy. Okay, yeah, these look amazing by the way. A pot of acquisitiveness. Yes. Okay. I got it. This one is like, has like one printing. What does it even do? Target three banished monsters, shuffle all, then a deck, then draw one card. Interesting. Doesn't seem that bad, actually. Pot of duality, pot of awesome. Of course, we got that one right. Never really, I just never really noticed the, the pot of greed on the back until now. We have pot of dichotomy. Same thing. I never noticed tongue guy. I'm always looking at the front. Still got that one right, I think. Pot of desires. There, man, these look so good. And somehow I always just looked at this half. I never noticed the tongue. It's at the very front. I never noticed it. Pot of extravagance. Same thing. I'm just looking at this side. I don't look at that side. That's pot of riches on the back. I mean, wow. Talk about not looking at artwork. We have pot of prosperity. That's beautiful. And spirit of the pot of greed. This is one. Oh, that's the little guy. I didn't guess these, but that's spirit of the pot of greed. And then there's the snake. I guess this is Moray of greed, maybe? Moray of greed. Yeah, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. And then... Oh, the Shard of Greed. That's what that was. I found it. Okay, it wasn't a broken piece. It was just Shard of Greed, the card. I'm mad. I want I want Buff Pot of Greed. What's his name? Oh, I can't remember. We'll pop it up on the screen because I cannot remember the name, but why is that guy not here? That would have been awesome. Okay, this is a really, really cool collection. Honestly, shout out to Konami for doing a good job on this. Maybe don't take nine months to ship it next time, but honestly, really awesome. I think it's a pretty cool collection just to have all these little Pot of Greed guys. 
It's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we're continuing the 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh tomorrow. Shout out to Tome Fosho, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.